Today, I'm gonna to talk about how to start or restart running. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Kofuzi and I'm just a regular dude who loves to run a lot. And today what I wanted to talk about is how to start or restart running. So whether you're running for the first time or whether you're coming back after a year's long break from it, here are some tips that I think can really help you get that new running habit started. The first thing I'll talk about is to focus on time and not distance. It gets really easy to worry about how fast we're running, what the pace is, how far we're going. But right now, the main thing I want you to think about is focusing on building good habits. Let's say you wanna be out there for 30 minutes, go out for 15 minutes, and then when you hit the 15 minute mark, come back home, and whether that's running, running slash walking, mostly walking. It doesn't really matter to me at this point what you're doing as long as you're constantly moving for a set amount of time. The most important thing is not how fast you're going right now. The most important thing to me is that you're building the habit of every other day I go out for a run. Every other day I go out for a walk. Whatever it is, you're building those habits so that way it's not so hard to think about, ooh, do I wanna go out for a run today? The weather's not great. There's all these things that are getting in the way. Ah, there's so many excuses. If you build the habit of this is just what I do now, it makes it a lot easier to then build that consistency, which is where a lot of the growth happens. That really leads me into my second point of don't worry. Don't worry if you've got the right shoes, the right gear, the right watch or earbuds, whatever it is, whatever you have right now, you have what you need to start or restart running. You might not have any running shoes at all. Maybe all you have is casual shoes. Maybe all you have is winter boots. That's perfect. Go out there today, get started, go out there for a 30 minute walk, go out for 15 minutes, come back get the habit started today. You can start worrying about that other stuff later, but don't let any of this stuff be an obstacle from you starting your new habit. The third thing that I'm gonna talk about is track it. Now I mentioned in the first thing that I was talking about, don't worry about distance, just worry about time. I'm not saying that we're gonna completely ignore the distance. I do think some of those distances are important. Some of the ways that you can track it is with a phone. There are lots of apps that are out there, such as Strava is the one that I really use. You can use that to record your activity and even use your phone's GPS, stuff that you probably already have to tell you how fast you're going, how far you're going, and it maps that all together and it records it all for you too. It lets you look at all your activity over the course of an entire week, over the course of months, and you can really see in the first week I had did this many activities, the second week, third week, fourth week, I was slowly able to build. And that's a main thing that I think that's important is to track where you've been so you can also be excited for where you're gonna be going next. Now Strava is not the only thing that's gonna be out there. That's the one that I like to use, but there's lots of other apps out there like Map My Run, Run Keeper. They all do kind of the same thing. Map My Run I think is also interesting because let's say you don't have a phone that has GPS in it that can track any of your activity and you just wanna go out there anyway, remember, don't worry, don't worry about the tech, just get out there. You can go out for a run, you can go out there for a run walk, and afterwards, you can go on to map my run, and as long as you kind of remember where you went, you can map out the route that you already did, and it'll tell you how far you went, so that you can keep track of all that information. The last thing that I would say is find community. The running community is an extremely welcoming place, for the most part, every community has its kind of weird corners, but the running community is a welcoming place and it's a great place to find help as you start having running into questions, want to know what you should be doing next. But it's also a great place to meet other people who are going through the same exact thing that you are, have the same exact goals, same exact struggles. And you can also meet a wide variety of people who have running in common, but maybe have a completely different life experience and worldview than yours. It's a fantastic place to be. If I can be the ambassador for this running community, I'll say, welcome, we're so happy to have you here. So those are a couple of tips that I think think can help anyone start running. The overall takeaway I would say is build the habit 
and start doing something. You gotta start somewhere and the best time to start is right now. But before I go, if you guys are new, I do wanna invite you to check out the comments down below. Remember I was talking about community. That's where a lot of the runners who are watching this video, even if they've been running for a long time, will be hanging out so you can go see what they're saying down there. And if you have been a runner for a long time and feel like you're part of this running community, what I would love for you to do for the others who are new and just trying to figure all this stuff out is share your story if you feel comfortable with it on how you kind of got into the running community, not just running in general, but into the running community. Did you make friends with other people you were seeing like at the gym at the same time in the mornings before work on the treadmills? Did you join a run club at a running store or in your neighborhood? Tell us how you came into the running community. I'd love to hear that because if you don't belong to the run community or don't feel like you belong to it yet, it could be really intimidating to figure out like, how do I get in to there? So I'd love it if you guys could share some of your stories on how you did it, how it felt, some of your experiences as well. And to go one step further, I'm gonna invite everyone here to check out the live stream that I do on YouTube just about every day, 3 p.m. Central Time. Sometimes we talk about running, sometimes we don't, a lot of times we don't, but it's a whole bunch of runners who are collecting together, just hanging out and having a good time with the common thread of running that binds us all together. I would love to see you guys there. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. Hopefully you all are staying safe out there on your runs and I'll see you in the next one. Yo, what's going on?